Hi and welcome back to our um, tutorial video and this we're going to jump into using the accelerometer within the micro bit. So first of all, uh, just a little bit about the accelerometer. So the accelerometer, you can see it um, just down in the bottom corner here, uh, very small little chip. Bring it up here, like, yeah, so accelerometer, hopefully that's in uh, focus there. Um, so a very small little chip, and it's very similar to the accelerometer that we would have in a smartphone. And so when your smartphone, you're using it and you sort of tilt your, your phone and your screen flips, that's using an accelerometer on the inside to tell the orientation of your phone. And so just like that, we can do um, some experiments with the uh, micro bit to show us the orientation of the device as well. So we're going to go ahead and start a new project and we're going to call this um, tilt. Now the neat thing about the accelerometer is, is there's lots of opportunities that you can use for this. So again, we've got the simulator on the left, we've got our code in the middle, and we've got where we're going to drop our code on the right hand side. So I'm going to jump into the input, and there's a few different things that I'm going to I want to point out right away. So one is this on shake. And you'll see here, so this allows us to physically shake the micro bit. So if it's been jostled back and forth. We also have a few of these other ones that will tell us if the logo is up. So that means that the the logo is it the the micro bit is in a horizontal it's in a vertical state um, and the logo is is pointing up here we've got logo down and so again it's in a vertical state but the logo is now down so if I was to sort of hold it so it would be in this direction and then if I tilt it over it be in this direction and then screen up is so LEDs are facing up screen down if we got it this way, we've got our tilt left and our tilt right. If it's in free fall, so if I just drop it. And then we've got 3G, 6G, and 8G. And so those are referring to Gs or, or um, gravity. And so free fall is sort of 1G or it's experiencing one uh, amount of gravity or an acceleration of 9.81 meters per second squared. And then uh, we've got 3G, and so this is where we can sort of get exciting with some of the opportunities of, you know, we can strap a micro bit to a rocket, um, which I think is a, a really cool opportunity. So uh, that's one of our opportunities with the acceleration, uh, like accelerometer. I would just want to get down into some of these other ones as well. And so we've got also the accelerometer. So this is an uh, event block. And so if any of these will occur, then the nested events will occur. Whereas this is a number block or it's a, it's a reporter block, we, uh, we sometimes call it. And it's reporting a certain value. And that value is going from uh, negative 1023 to positive 1023. And I'm just going to uh, bring out the show number and I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm going to just drop this in here. And so one thing also that you all would have noticed is that when I have this on shake, this on shake is opportunity here. And then also with the acceleration block, we have just below button B, the AX, um, and then it's at zero. So we can see from that drop down as well, we've got uh, a X uh, or acceleration in the X direction, in the Y direction and the Z direction. And we'll talk about those in a few seconds. So um, here again, we can get the acceleration value in milligravities. So again, milli G. Um, so again, it's, it's what it's experiencing at that, that time. So when the board is fl laying flat, so the screen is up, so acceleration in the uh, X direction is going to be zero, acceleration in the Y direction is going to be zero, and acceleration in the Z direction is minus 1024. 
So we can see as we uh, explore X, Y, and Z, we can see how it will change. So that's one way that we can use the acceleration or the accelerometer in there. There's also another thing that I, another one that I wanted to show you. Um, it's in the more category. We can also have the rotation. And so the rotation is looking at the amount of tilt, but about the, um, about the axis. So from sort of like from two until the logo, what does that look like? Um, and so it's looking at here, we've got the rotation in terms of the pitch or in terms of the roll. And so the way that we can think about this is it's like a, a, a jet or a plane that we would think about the pitch or the roll uh, of the plane. So again, the, the role of it is if it's if if A or B, A and B are the wings, and so they're rolling, so going down, uh, A is going down and B is going up in that sense. So if it was uh, rolling in this sense, and then whereas the pitch is, uh, if this is the back of the uh, plane, so the pitch is how it goes up and down uh, in in the atmosphere. All right. So hopefully that will give you a, a little sense of some of the opportunities with this, uh, with the accelerometer. So there's, I think there's lots of fun opportunities with this and some really cool things. So again, we can have this show number. We can also, um, so again, this is just showing uh, the X and the Y and then the Z. And then this strength shows the overall strength. So again, it's sort of measuring it of all of the different strengths. So I'm just going to get rid of this and get rid of this uh, and get rid of the on start. And then I'm going to make sure I'm paired. I'm already paired. I'm going to download this onto the micro bit and then we'll see what we can see as it as it rolls through there. So again, we've got a very simple, so nine, nine, four. So if I just tilt it a little bit, so one, zero, zero, one. If I tilt it maybe this way. So again, this is looking at the, the overall strength of it. But let's say that I wanted to look specifically at uh, the X direction. So I'm going to download this. And then I can sort of tilt it this way and see what happens. So we got six to four, about six to four. If I go this way, negative three, two, negative three, two, zero. So again, um, as you're moving it around, there is a, a little bit of a time delay if you're also scrolling stuff on the screen. So what we can do instead is maybe have a little bit more reaction towards when we are gestured in a certain direction. So if I'm going to take this one and then we can use that, um, well, there's a, there's a couple different ways that we can do this. So we can do if the tilt to the left, we can have an arrow focus or, or show up. So let's do that. like on our simulator. So if I tilt it to the left, then we have that. If we tilt it to the right, nothing shows up, but that's okay because that's what we have in here. So this is more like, you know, if it's going from on the negative side or below zero uh, or above zero, the tilt left is sort of good. Um, but if we want to know a little bit more about the numbers, then maybe we can use something to do with the uh, rotation of that. And so if we take uh, and specifically the, the roll. And so what we can do is we're going to find, we're going to create a variable called roll. And we're going to set, forever set the roll to the rotation. And now what we're going to do is, depending on the value of the roll, we're going to have 
certain things popping up on the screen. So again, now that we've got our if statements, we've got our conditionals in here. So if the role is less than, and let's just say less than negative 10 for now. So that means it's really on the left-hand side. So we're gonna go ahead and show this arrow on the left-hand side. And then we'll use this plus down here to add in another opportunity. I'm just gonna right-click on this and duplicate it. So again, I can see that. And so if the role is greater than 10, can duplicate this, I'm gonna now point to the right. I like how uh, left arrows and right arrows are very similar. And then if we're in the middle, so that's uh, where our else statement will be, then we're, let's just have it that we're not gonna have an arrow at all. And so it'll just be like a flat line. So we take out these two. flat line. So if I just make this a little bit easier to see. So again, we've got our role and then we're checking here. And so the reason for using a variable is we want to check the check it and then show right away if it's on the left or if it's on the right. And then if not, it's in the center. So if we look on the simulator, if I roll it to the right, if I roll it to the left, and there we are. I'm going to go ahead and download this. And there we are. So we got our flat line. If I tilt it a little bit that way, we see that. We tilt a little bit this way, we see that. So again, very cool opportunity for us to be able to use this uh, with our um, micro bit. So the last little bit uh, that I wanted to do in terms of being able to maybe use this in a more of a data collection uh, opportunity um, is if we go down at the bottom of advanced, there's the serial function here. And so what we can do is we can start to um, gather data from the micro bit. And so that allows us to, to grab some of the information off of that, which is super, super cool. So, all right, so, uh, sorry about that. Uh, so we've got our uh, advanced, and we head down into serial. So serial is allows us to communicate with the micro bit. And so we're going to go ahead and use the serial write value x equals zero. So we're going to drag this out here and I'm just going to take all of what I have here and just put it off to the side for now. Drop this in here and we're just going to get this, the rotation value here. And so we can use this for the rotation or actually, you know what, let's go ahead and use both the X and the Y and the Z acceleration values. And so here we got x equals the acceleration in the x. I'm just going to duplicate that, put that right there. And we got y is our y. And duplicate is our z. z. So again, so now I've got all this. I'm going to go ahead and click the download. So now we'll see that it's been downloaded successfully. If I click on the console for the device, it'll show me both my X, my Y, and my Z values. And so I just have to scroll to see all three of them. Um, but then I, as I move the micro bit, so you can see I'm moving my micro bit, uh, you'll see all of the values changing on my, so my X. If I change it uh, in a certain way, the same with the Z. And then, so if I start to shake it, you can see it bouncing up and down. So it's sort of cool. 
uh, to be able to use this as a, a neat data collecting device when you're exploring with your students. So that was a little bit of a, a you know low floor and then high ceiling we can see this. Now the cool thing is we can also uh, you know pause the data collection uh, so that we don't have to worry about it anymore um, and then we can use this uh, to export the data and which is really cool. So um, I'm going to go ahead and export the data and what it's going to give me it's going to give me a CSV file. So I'm going to go ahead and open that file and then we'll see that it opens up in Excel. Let's bring this over here for you to see. Back over here. So now we have here, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. See the values maybe. So we can see that we've got our time source uh, and our Y values. And then as we increase in time, we can see the Y and then the same with the Z and the same with the X. So you can see how once you start to explore this, you can see the, the values as they change over time. Um, and so that means that you can take this like another step or the next step uh, for experimenting and um, yeah. So this um, serial write uh, value, X, Y, Z, uh, works with anything that is an input. And so here we can use it with the light level, we can use it with the compass heading, we can use it with the temperature. And so this is super exciting to be able to use this uh, with in our classroom, in our science classrooms. All right, so thanks very much for watching. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks again. Bye for now.